Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Som this is Somnambulous Gaming. We are playing Final Fantasy Origins, and we are in the near future going to start up the second to last dungeon. It may or may not be a good time. I remember this one being less of a pain in the ass than the last one, so that might be good. Probably going to want a hidden inn though. Actually, I might want to fly around a little bit and check all the the magic shops, make sure I'm not missing anything. Sure, why not? I think this is the one where you needed the black wizard. No. Nah. So let's see some spells and what kind of shit we can get out of here. And then, we're going there. That's Matoya's cave. Probably can't park there. Pick up some level 1 spells. No point underestimating their power. I also want to hit that thingamajigger there and make sure I've got a good stock of potions and antidotes. So that's quite important. <clears throat> Puts foes to sleep. Nah. Alright. Out of the way. <clears throat> Cure. Uh, why not? Go hit Provoka and see what they've got there. <clears throat> nope. Oh, I forgot to go do the item shop. Be sure to get it here. Or hell, I might as well wait for Elfland. <clears throat> In Elfland, you can buy gold needles. Which I don't remember being particularly useful past this point, but... No point being unprepared. see where this item shop has gone off to. Hey, there's the captain. No bad deeds anymore, no sir. Really, just look into my eyes. He's lying. I mean, he's a pirate. What do you expect? Get out the way. Get up in here. Wait, I thought I was gonna... Yeah, wait for Elfland. Guess I'm not gonna wait for Elfland. What? No. There we go. <clears throat> I've got a crap ton of money anyway, it doesn't really matter. Wait, wrong way. You are in the way. There we have the land of the elves. Which actually has two sets of shops for magic. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> Apologize, my throat's a little iffy right now. Cure two's good. Heal one. Oh, that's actually, yeah. Might as well. Dang, all the good spells are white mage only. Mm. 
Isuna. Eh. You'd swear the knight could do level 4 spells. Maybe that was just one that he can't. Or he can't yet. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, being stocked up is one thing, spending 70,000 gil on something you might not ever use is another. So how about you? You got anything? Oh! They actually help with something, on occasion. I could swear there was another shop here. There should be another black magic shop. Or maybe there isn't, I don't know. Oh, there is. <clears throat> Haste is helpful. Get some ice too. <clears throat> All right, that's good for here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and check Melmond and uh, the Crescent uh, Island or whatever the hell it is. The Crescent Thingamajigger on account of how that might be something useful. Not sure where I am now. That's... Provoca? I'm not looking for that. I want over here. Yes. Looks like my webcam is lopsided. I don't know. I don't know, I got this webcam, but... It doesn't clip so much to the top of my TV as it just sort of perches there precariously and tumbles around and falls every time you do anything. It's not much fun. Actually, I should... well, no, I already think I already filled that slot. No, nope, nothing much. <clears throat> Alright, we'll check the level 6, which I believe is at the Crescent uh, Island town thing place. <clears throat> Crescent Lake. Eh, close enough. For certain degrees of close. Time for that tower. Do I have full HP and everything? Wait. I don't. Did I not use the inn? I'll just use this one. Form the saving of the game. <clears throat> and then the dance of wakefulness. And we're on our way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go find this tower. Figure out where I can land.
Wherever it is, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass. Up here, I think. Yeah. No? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Alright. All the way out here? Eh, I'll take it. Hmm. <clears throat> now, in the natural progression of the game, you normally you'd come here and then find that you need an item to progress. Uh, but you don't have the item and you gotta go find it in that waterfall cave that I did a little while ago. So I've already got that. And this, I mean, you can just go down that one that door there and then just move on to the next floor, but there's a bunch of stuff going on here and I need some experience. So, this is what we're doing here. And these vampires are a right pain in the ass. Knock them out, guys. Rupert still as efficacious as usual. Come on, Lars, knock him out. Do it, do it. Ah, almost. Ain't bad. Good. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. There's a rabbit. Ah, are you our masters? No. Two black knights and a nightmare. Shouldn't be too much trouble. <clears throat> Good. The black knights aren't super resilient. And the nightmares, I mean, they're nothing much. They've been fighting those for a long time. Finish. Probably not. Oh, it did. Weaker than I expected. See, the first time I came in here, I found these tiles, and I was like, they're flashing! They must be something important! And I wandered all around trying to use stuff on them and do things, and I missed it. those stairs, which is right there and right where you start. It was... it was not good. I, I was not pleased. Again. Enemy strikes first, though. But that's not too big a deal. Jack's getting beat up a little bit, but not so that I'd need to worry about it yet. Not killing these guys as fast as I like, but... That's what happens sometimes. Uh, well, that also happens sometimes. Okay, good. I'd have rather had a healing staff use, but that works too. What's funny is in this Let's Play, I have to play the game slow enough since I'm only filming, you know, 30 minutes per go. Even sometimes, you know, I'll get five or six days ahead and I, I just don't touch the game for a while. And I come back and it's all weird and I'm like, what was I doing? What's in my inventory? So I never really got to the point where the, the battle music was as annoying as I expected. And that, Healing Helm, that's another, has the same effect as the Healing Staff. And there will be a couple of them as we go around. So now I could effectively do two heals per turn. 
and that's helpful. Bunch of gill, bunch of gill, four pal sword. I don't remember that being very useful, but hey, let's check. Nope. Might be good for Lars or something. I don't know if that's worth it. I'll give it a shot, see if maybe he gets some good results out of it. That's too bad, though. The Vorpal Sword is the classic uh, end game, like, holy shit, we have finished this stuff, uh, Dungeons & Dragons sword. I mean, that's got like a 1 in 20 chance or something that when you hit an enemy, it just instantly decapitates them. And that's good fun. And you can see what I can do now is I can just have... Oh, that's... Ah, oh, no. I remember these guys. They have some sort of bugged audio with the emulator. But yeah, I could do a healing staff and have either Lars or Jack do the healing helm. Just get two rounds. I did that a lot in my last game since I had a black mage and a white mage. So unless they're casting a spell, they're just not doing much. So uh, if I needed the healing, then I might as well just do the healing. And if I don't, then I can use the gauntlet or the mage's staff and do some damage. Wow, I'm really unhappy with that. Come on, take these guys out. Well, I apologize for the issues with the audio, but there's not much I can do about it at the moment. Finish it off. Okay, good. Naturally. Knock these guys out as fast as possible. Good damage from lightning, which is nice. I'm really unhappy with that. But really all I can do is just try to get through the dungeon as fast as possible. Actually, I think this might be a scripted fight. Nope, no it's not. If it is, it's a really terrible one. These guys, I'm pretty sure, are weak to fire. Looks a bit like it, yeah? Oh, almost had a pack kill. That would have been amazing. Let me just think, this late in the game, that'd be very uncommon. Aegis shield. Let's see what this shield is looking like. Guards against petrification, that's helpful. Why not? I think that's good for me for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go up. Oh, more melting bulldogs. That's nice. kind of fun at this point in the game that waving some glowing ass weapons in the air which cause shit to blow up all around you is probably one of the more effective ways to do battle. Hmm. These guys aren't very strong though. I mean, we were fighting them a while ago. Should be able to knock through them pretty well. The Were Tigers do poison sometimes, though. But that's not too big a deal anymore. 
That certainly looks like it's doing better than that uh, cat's claw. <clears throat> but it had almost as high accuracy and more damage, though, so... That happens. Alright. That kind of looks like a door, but I guess it's just a design. One down. Well, at least that one was quick. And Rupert got him down. Good. I think the higher you go up in here, the less likely you are to run into those guys. But I could be very, very wrong. Because I'm wrong a lot. At least these guys are real weak. I'm sustaining very well. Man, I'd really like to do without these guys. One down, one down. Probably only have the opportunity to attack once. Seriously, Jack, that's just sad. Even Lars is doing better than Jack now. Maybe these guys are just really, really resistant to ice. He is using the ice sword. Oh, chimeras. That's nice. Not sure why that's nice, but at least it's different. One down, one down. wasn't too bad. And down. Alright. There's a lot of good gill in this place. Fortunately, there's just nowhere left to really spend it. Like, ever. I think Lars and Jack can do some magic. got my coffee, but, you know, because I've been, uh, well, I've been marathon filming this stuff today, so i make sure to have my coffee on hand so I can keep my throat wet. Good. Also good. Similarly good. That was a good fight. Oh, shit. I accidentally hit sword. Fuck up all my stuff now. Ah, oh, I gotta redo this. That sucks. Okay. No. So 
So where did I put the potions? There they are. Got some gold needles up here too. Alright, so what was I... Right, antidote. This is a big circuitous looking kind of place. Ugh. I'm very unhappy with these enemies. That was a good damage roll on most of them, though. Oh! Shouldn't last much longer. Come on, finish him off. Good. Lars leveled up. That's 26 now, I believe. I'm gonna go see what this robot has to say. Oh, hellhounds. They are nothing much. They can hit everybody, but for very little damage. I'm gonna guess that using that Mage's Staff may not have been the best idea. Well, we'll see what it does. Considering all the AoE flying around here, I probably would have been better off doing the Healing Helm Staff and Healing Helm. Yeah, that was much. Oh well, everybody's HP is still pretty high. Almost max for everybody but Lars, actually. Okay, one more. Oh, and I got him. It's Pat leveled up. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna go see what this robot has to say. Maybe, eventually. One of us flew to the west, taking the warp cube with him. That's good. Those are the stairs up, but I think there's a big room here full of chests, so I'm gonna be sure to grab it. Oh, that's a bunch of guys. Mini Melting Bulldogs. Yes. Got a full three people doing some kind of magical item. Which I don't mind too much. Come on, guys. You can do it. Gauntlets. I think a lot of the enemies here might be resistant to fire. So I haven't had good results out of that one. Oh, right, I already talked to that guy. Heal. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this one here. This is another dungeon that's probably going to take a while, so this is going to be two or three videos probably. So, this has been Somnambulous Gaming. 
we have been doing Final Fantasy Origins here in the Tower of Mirage. Thank you very much for watching. Please join us next time when we may very well finish the Tower of Mirage. See you all later.